Hey guys, this is a quick video showing you how to drive multiple PCBs of a single schematic. I was having a look on the Geekad forums and it doesn't seem to be possible. Right here, creating two PCBs from a single schematic is currently not supported with Geekad. I have found a way around this and I want to show it before I completely forget. Okay, so explaining my specific setup, I had my uh, schematic file. And these were the name of my project, which was battery underscore PCB. And then I had my PCB1, which was the same name, dot keycad PCB. And now once I cloned this initial PCB and I just renamed it so I could actually distinguish between the two files, I had the problem of apologies. PCB2 is looking for a schematic file that doesn't exist because it's actually going to be looking for a battery underscore PCB underscore half banana, simply the name I gave, dot keycad show, which doesn't exist. So my solution is to fake it into thinking it does exist. So the best way I found was using a hard link, uh, open up command prompt with administrator. Uh, this is for Windows, Mac, Linux. You can use ChatGPT. It's probably going to be the same thing. And then just go mklink slash h, and here's where you're going to put your alias name. So this is going to be the name that KeyCAD is looking for. So in my case, it was this. And then the original schematic file, which was up here. And now we get onto the important caveat, which I'll be explaining. And I'll show you here. So right now, before I close the project, you see that there are two schematics, even though they are the exact same schematic. And I'll prove it to you guys in a minute. So step one of this caveat is to close all your projects. And now, if I want to work on the original PCB, I open up the original PCB project. So you'll see that after you've made that clone, you've now got two projects, even though they're the same exact file. So let's open up your uh, battery underscore PCB. This is the original one. And instead of going to your other two PCBs, your other two PCB and schematic, make sure to only open up the PCB and schematic with your appropriate name. So we're opening up the original and here's me testing it out. So let's add in one more resistor. This is just to prove to you guys that it's working. This is R20. So now when I open up my PCB and I can update PCB from schematic, update. I'll now have a lovely R20 there. So now let's see if our PCB2 also got updated to the same schematic. And let's also double check that the actual new schematic is the same thing. So once again, close your project, open up your new project. In my case, it's the half banana. Make sure to click. We'll first check if my half banana now has this R20 resistor. And it does. There it is. And now let's see if it links properly to the PCB. All looks good to me, and we can update from here. And there you go, R20. There you go. Uh, I've proved that you can have multiple PCBs with the same schematic. You just have to make sure you follow the caveat of closing the projects and only reopening the project you need to work on. So the PCB version of the project you're working on. That's all. Thanks, guys.